All right, hello everyone. It's Shines Dude 24 here. It's been a long time since I've done a video where you actually can see what I look like. Uh, last few months, I got into Derek Carr, Raiders, autographs, uh, some more giant stuff. I really got out of uh, collecting Willie Mays because I just was pretty much priced out of the the market with what PSA cards are going for nowadays. So, kind of downscaled a little bit. Found some more guys to collect. Uh, I do Posey, Bumgarner, but last month and a half or so, I've really uh, been hammering just getting uh, Barry Bonds cards. And uh, I have to thank, uh, you know, N Black or 1412 or uh, Tops 85 401, as some of you know. His collections really inspired me. Uh, him and a Weight Triple Three, those guys have just amazing, amazing collections of Barry Bonds. I mean, I could never. You know, if I collected for 20 years, probably touch theirs. But I really got into uh, 90s inserts and uh, some football stuff, and I just started appreciating them more. And I uh, picked up a few uh, refractors and whatnot. But I'll show you some of these uh, Bonds cars I've been picking up. I've been just swooping them up like crazy lately. It's just, it kicks ass. I love it. I miss the craze because I got out of uh, cards in 93, right when they started doing the refractors, of course. And I got back in 2011, so last few years I've been doing autographs and game used and PSA cards and, you know, just always looking for something new to do. And uh, this is one of those things. I'm going to show you some of the cards I got recently. Got a 94 Leaf Slideshow the Bonds. It's a nice little card to start off with. Got a 94 Pinnacle. The Naturals. Can't get really any light on these right now. That kind of sucks. They look great in person, though. This is a uh, 1996 Donruss Studio stained glass die cut. It's a good looking card. This is a 96 Flare Ultra die cut. The uh, hitting machine. Sorry, I'm still kind of learning these two. But I mean, they're all really nice looking cards up close. This is an SBX special effects. Wish I had the die cut, but I don't. Still a good looking card though. And this is the uh, SBX Bound for Glory insert. Same year. It's got a little hologram. Can't really see it on my phone right now, but it looks really nice. And I got a 2000 Fleer Skybox Showcase Final Answer Insert. This is a 2000 Stadium Club Chrome Refractor see a little bit of it. I'm getting a little bit of light. That's good. Love that card. This is a wood card from Tops, 1997. Team Timber. It's a nice looking card. I got a 2003 Bowman Chrome Gold Refractor. Crappy light on this phone right now. Eh, maybe a little better. There we go. Anyway, it's a nice looking card. And I got this uh, 1999 Pacific Omega. Five tool talents. Number to 100. It's a really nice parallel. I picked up about a week ago. It looks really good in person. And if you're watching this, Nate, I think you wanted this card, too. So if I ever get rid of it, I'll let you know first. This is a uh, oh, 99 Pacific Revolution Thorn in the Side die cut. Badass looking spikes on the side there. I just really missed out on the 
the insert craze of the 90s. I wish I would have got back into cards then, but I was busy having kids, so I had other things to do that were more important, I guess. This is a Skybox Circa Thunder Boss insert. Just a little tape up on top. Sorry about that. I got this card about a month ago, and this is probably one of my better ones. I found this online, and I couldn't believe I got it. This is a 1998 Leaf Fractal Matrix die cut. Really shiny in person. And this is numbered to 50. And anybody that collects 90s cards knows that anything numbered 100 or less is like crazy to find. So I'm glad I got that one. Pacific Crown collection. Oh, for the life of me, I don't know what this is. I knew before. I'm drawing a blank right now. I apologize. It's a good looking die cut though. You can see through it too, which is nice. This is uh, 1998 Tops. Centurion, number to 500. It's not the refractor, but it has the the peeling on it. Good looking card. This is a 98 upper deck, clearly dominant. Awesome, awesome card. The sucker's number to 250. I love how you can just see through. Just the way they made these cards back in the day was way better than they do them now. It's a 97 Metal Universe Magnetic Field. Nice looking card. Here's another good one. This is a 97 EX Credentials. Number 299. Beautiful card in person. Love that one. This is a 97 Pinnacle Mirror Red. Beautiful shine on that card. I was stoked when I got this one. And I also got the blue, Mirror Blue. Picked those up at the same time. Scored pretty well on it. Got a 97 Pinnacle, the Way jersey die cut. Just, you don't see this kind of stuff anymore, the way they do this. It's a National Pride die cut. Nice big bold USA sign. Make America great again. And this is my newest edition. This is a 97 Donruss Signature Series. Platinum press proof. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. The sucker's out of uh, 150. Just really love the the Bonds cards. Really uh, hope to emulate Nate's collection someday. I'm way, I'm decades behind, but you know I got a nice little niche started here. I have over 200 different Bonds cards. Uh, 187 unique ones, so I'm nowhere near a thousand, but I'm doing pretty good for about a month and a half, and I uh, really got the itch. I love it. So anything I pick up online, I show immediately on uh, our Bonds Collectors group, and I uh, just really love collecting again. I'm really getting into it. So it's good to talk to you guys. Good to have a video again. I know it's been about a month and a half, but just really love collecting and I wish back in the 90s I got back into it and of course I had other reasons so it's cool even in the 2000s I mean they had some really great cards in the 2000s as well so still here still kicking still collecting cards doing what we do best which is uh, feeding the urge so hope you guys are collecting having a good day and uh, hope to talk to you soon peace out